What up, Melvin7 here. Today, marquee matchups are out Friday 6 pm, which seems to be their new time slot. Now, first one we've got Villarreal versus Valencia. Very, very easy as usual. A Villarreal player, a Valencia player, 11 La Liga players, three of which have to be rare, and 90 team chemistry. It also needs to be 79 rated, which is a little harder to do because of the new uh, update that they did for SBCs. So, uh, yeah, this is basically the team I've used. Uh, the Villarreal player I've got is uh, Ndaye, and the Valencia player is Sekiri. I'd recommend you try and get a rare player from both of those clubs, um, because the common cards will probably end up going for more than some of the cheaper cards. Um, well, some of the rare cards. The rest of it, you can just use anyone. I mean, it's pointless me showing you individual players, because there's just an abundance. Just make sure that you get a 79 rated team. Next one we've got is Tigres versus America, and um, you just need one Tigres or America player, and uh, the rest of them have to be from the Mexican League. So, you, if you can, use some bronzes, silvers, um, it doesn't really matter what the rating is. I've just used golds because I've got them in my club, and uh, yeah, the, the Tigres player I went with is uh, Quinanos. I uh, don't think I've got any Club America, oh yeah, I do, I've got uh, an American, uh, sorry, Club America striker there. But that's just because he's in my club. I'll quickly show you the players that I've used. I don't know how much this is going to cost because it's hard to judge and the market is always fluctuating. When I'm doing this video, the players might be starting to rise. But then by the time when you watch, they might be really, really high or a lot lower than what they were when watching uh, this video. So, yeah, anyway, the next one we've got is... Um, Gamerius versus uh, Braga and again just one of those players needed and the rest of it is Portuguese you don't have to go Liga Nos I just have because there's a lot of um, Portuguese players that I've got in my club that are from the Liga Nos but you can see I've got a championship uh, player here and also a Bundesliga 2 player uh, who are Portuguese you also only need 8 gold so try and get 3 bronzes in there get the price down as cheap as possible very very easy one again and the next one, there is a specific trick for this, the Egypt versus Ghana players. You only need one Egypt or Ghana player, and then you need a maximum of three players from a specific league. So what I've done, I've uh, sectioned off, I've got Atsu there for my Ghanaian player, and then I've got two Newcastle players who are in my club, and the rest of it... I've just used bronze English players, so I've got uh, players from the Premier League because I've already used the championship for Newcastle. Uh, maybe that's not a good idea, I'm not sure what these players go for. Maybe they go for a little bit. Oh no, they literally go for 200 coins. What about this rare dude from uh, Everton? Yeah, he's relatively cheap anyway. So uh, yeah, and the rest of it is Football League 3 or Football League 4. So I'm just going to submit that. You only get an all players pack for that, so you don't really want to be spending much on that one anyway. And uh, that's marquee matchups done. Premium gold players packs, that's a 25k pack, and if my, I've just seen my camera spazzing out there, if that's happening on your end, maybe I won't have a face cam, I don't know, but um, yeah, that, that just looked really weird, you, you might not know what the hell I'm going on about, hopefully you don't, but the light flickered like loads in that, so... Hopefully uh, I do have face cam, but if I don't, then that's why. But anyway, in the first pack, which is the worst one of the lot, mixture of silver, bronze, silver, silver, bronze, and gold. Uh, actually, this guy might go for a bit. SMKN? No, fuck's sake. Um, all right, yeah, that was a pretty dump pack. Uh, fuck it, I'm just gonna discard those uh, and move on to the next one. We've got a 7.5k pack. Of course, there's some decent Team of the Weeks in uh, in store. I'm not really expecting to get anything from these. Uh, packs are always dead straight after... Oh, I thought we get fatty. Yeah, we get a fatty. That is brilliant. Um, but uh, packs are usually dead straight after Team of the Year because no one's opening them. So prices usually go up because the supply is down, but the demand is there. I I'm sure you know it. Anyway, uh, silver pack. I'm hoping we get our best items from this. Because there are a lot of silvers that go for a lot. Got a couple of MLS players there. We've got the. Uh, why am I even checking goalkeepers? They never go for anything. Uh, pointless checking him. He's a goalkeeper as well, so it's pointless checking him. I um, think we've been relative. And another goalkeeper. Oh my god. We've been relatively unlucky with that silver pack. I can't see anyone in there really going for more than a thousand. Uh, then we'll move over to the 15k pack. No walkout. Really bad flare, probably under 80. 
Let's have a look. Oh no, we get 81 rated Adler. I'm just going to store everything else in my club. Discard the rest. Move on to the final pack. Hopefully we can end it off with something good. Probably not. Nah, really poor flair again. So those rewards, I'm not sure how much it costs. Like, I, I'm really not sure whether this one's worth it. Because the packs you're getting really aren't that good. I think pack value that you're getting back this time is probably... 60k ish off the top of my head maybe it's slightly more slightly less but i don't know that marquee matchup seemed as though it might cost a little bit because of the uh the mexican league players they'll probably be price fixed but who knows let me know if uh, you think it's worth it hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace